medical man who developed a rare side effect after getting the Johnson & Johnson vaccine is still a vocal supporter of COVID vaccines, even as he works to reclaim his health. And now his son is running the Boston Marathon to honor his dad and to support Spalding Rehab Hospital. Julie McDonald is live at the finish line on Boylston Street tonight. And Julie, he's going to be one of the youngest runners in this race. Yeah, that's right, Lisa. George turned 18 this year, but he was still 17 and didn't even tell his parents when he sent an email to Spalding Rehab. He wrote about how they changed his dad's life and he would love the opportunity to run for their cause. It feels like one more warm hug with Boston, and I think that's enough to keep me going. Before heading off to college and beginning his adult uh, life, the, George Flint of Brookline amazing. will run the Boston Marathon Monday, a bittersweet so long to his city. And it's, you know, like the thing I'd been dreaming about for years and years and years. But the sudden motivation, the urgency to pursue this dream this year really came from his family's nightmare. I you know, basically started again. You know, it's like I was learning to walk all over again. George's dad, Anthony, was diagnosed with Guillain-Barre syndrome, yeah, an extremely bringing, bringing rare down, condition in which the immune and, system uh, attacks uh, the nerves. Uh, Anthony spent several weeks at Spalding Rehab. Now George is running and raising money for them. I'm easily fatigued, mm -hmm. so I haven't been the dad you know, that I've wanted to be him kind of like soldiering on through all of that is just is just remarkable. Mm -hmm. A lot of strength. And yet that strength he so admires in his son stems from what George watched his dad do every single day at Spalding. Their uh, motto, which was all over the walls when I went there, was find your strength, to run for those who can't. I wouldn't want to run for any other team. A hug for his city and one for dad, too. If I can make anyone feel like a little more powerful, a little more capable with it, then it's worth the, worth the miles. Mm -hmm. And George's parents will, of course, be waiting right here for him to finish the marathon on Monday. Little does he know he made them proud long before he even takes off from Hopkinton. Live from the finish line tonight, Julie McDonald, WBZ News. Oh, we'll all be rooting for him, no question. Julie, thank you. W